Shorts, you got losses not yet received coming. As in your security sold, not yet purchased. AMC Theaters and I will be here. Make no mistake about it, AMC and Ape. So this article says streaming is drowning. Almost all platforms has announced losses at the start of 2023. So during an era where streaming services were supposed to be taking over the movie theater industry completely and pretty much everything else, streaming services are drowning. They're more competitive than ever. And yet the box office at the movie theaters is up like crazy over the past few quarters. This ape says since the beginning of 2021, back when this entire play basically started, AMC stock has had 17 billion, 774 million, 686,717 shares shorted. You read that right, 17.7 billion AMC shares plus shorted. And all the while, that doesn't even include Ape. And since Ape has been created, it's been one of the heaviest shorted stocks in the entire market. There's been times where it's even made the top most shorted stocks list, which is incredible. So almost 18 billion shares of AMC has been shorted since the beginning of this play. And we're talking back since 2021. Now, the problem here that a lot of the apes have, and for good reason maybe, is that CEO Adam Marin sees no evidence of so-called synthetics. Now, this is in regards to something that Adam Marin has said, I think maybe a few times, but Adam Marin did say in a tweet storm one time that he doesn't see any evidence of so-called synthetic shares. Although since then, CEO Adam Marin has been a little bit more vocal, saying that he wants more data, more information on certain things that are going on around AMC stock that definitely seem a bit fishy. So it's not like CEO Adam Marin has been completely in the dark with this whole thing, but he has in fact said things like there's no evidence of so-called synthetics, which has made a lot of the apes angry for good reason. This ape also says, get the heck out. It's because he's working with Citi and Terra and sold us out. And this ape says never once has he called out things like dark pool abuse, like ladder attacks, like spoofing, no nothing. And then this ape posted this, it says naked shorting, which is the practice of selling shares without borrowing them first, of course, or confirming that they can be borrowed. So there is an absolute war going on throughout Wall Street right now. And there's a lot of clear manipulation going on on many fronts. We the apes have been trying to track down all the DD and all the data since the beginning of this play and trying to get everything sorted. And really all we want is a fair and free market. Now I think we can all agree that CEO Adam Marin has not necessarily been perfect through everything, but none of us are perfect. I do think in my opinion, and again, tell me what you guys think, my opinion is not necessarily the right opinion, but in my opinion, CEO Adam Marin has done an overall very, very high quality job being a CEO of AMC, considering all the things he's going up against. Now, when CEO Adam Marin has said certain things, like, for example, there's no evidence of so-called synthetic shares. In my opinion, at times, I think CEO Adam Marin sort of has to say certain things to dodge more fire and more scrutiny from the higher-ups. Now, I'm not a CEO of a publicly traded company, but I can assume, and I'm guessing, of course, that as one, you are going to have a lot of scrutiny on yourself already, especially when you're a CEO of a company like AMC, which has been basically in and on the headlines since the start of this play. Now, as the CEO of AMC, I do think that CEO Adam Marin has a duty to at least try and tread lightly on certain topics. If CEO Adam Marin wanted to come out and talk about things like dark pull abuse, like ladder attacks, like spoofing, or any of the other things that this ape is talking about, all the things that the AMC apes have been really concerned about for a while now, I think CEO Adam Marin could find himself in some hot water. And again, maybe that's what it takes to actually make some change. I'm not saying that it doesn't. But I am saying that I don't know if CEO Adam Marin doesn't have the best interest for the apes. I think there might be an argument that he stayed in his lane at times for good reason. But the bigger question is, what do you guys think? Comment down below, do you think CEO Adam Marin does have the best interest in the apes? And what we really want and what we deserve? Or do you think he has an ulterior motive? And do you think overall CEO Adam Marin is a bad apple? Comment down below.